welcome. Nice uh, to have you here in our salon. It's an honor. Thank you very much. Um, I'm very curious. I prepared a lot of questions for you. Yeah. How many times a week do you wash your hair? Is it depending? Of course, you have a busy schedule, yeah. flying, traveling, uh, exercising, also being a beautiful mother. Mm -hmm. And that's also... Uh, if I'm home, it's usually twice a week. Okay, that's uh, Ideally, it would be once a week. Yes. But it's hard for me because I have naturally oily scalp. Yeah. And um, if I'm traveling for work, depending on the hairstyle, I have to wash it out to do a new hairstyle. Uh, but it does annoy me to wash it unnecessarily. Do you protect your hair uh, for hot tools or stuff like that? Um, yeah, I prefer to always spray. Yeah. Uh, before using hot tools, and I always ask whoever is doing my hair to do that Perfect. as well. And now with your wonderful hair oil, yes. which I am <laughs> loving, it's it's also a Thank you. two in one. Correct. For, for yeah. heat protecting, yeah. So yeah, it's heat really protecting, good. and and indeed it relaxes your scalp. Mm. And we uh, afterwards we're going to show you uh, the video yeah. of the the scalp uh, massage. Mm. But also in that the 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 heat protection is very important because yeah you sometimes during Fashion Week, uh, we saw each other uh, eh, and already your hair has been done twice that day. Yeah. And of course, it's nice to see the yeah. pictures, but yeah, your hair needs a lot of protection uh, mm -hmm. as well. I saw uh, um, a couple of months ago uh, that you had bangs on Fashion Week. Oh, that was last year Fashion Week. Yeah, yeah my hairstylist, she loves to experiment with me and yes. we did bangs and a lot of people believed it. And then a lot of people asked me, why don't you do it for real? Yeah. Do you know why you don't have to do it for real? Because I have... Uh, it looks amazing yeah. on you, but what always we're telling people with bangs, uh, it looks amazing, but it definitely will take you a long time in the morning because your natural falling is never the way your you bangs to, and yeah. uh, you had uh, yeah. extra extensions yeah, uh, yeah, on yeah. that parting. And if you have natural falling, it will definitely take you five minutes in the in, yeah, in the morning. Right down, yes, yeah. and if there's a little bit uh, humanity, it will go back and just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's never the curtain bank you want. It's always something yeah. different. But it really looks uh, was looking amazing on you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I looked a lot like my mom in the end <laughs> because she has bangs. So everyone was saying that. Wow. <laughs> but I don't think I. I'm really lazy with my hair. Yeah. Um, because it's very low maintenance, so I. Think I think adding a step in the morning would really be torturous to have to upkeep and so yeah. I think a lot of people like to spend time but I think they're used to do it from a very young age. Did you ever color your hair or it's now natural as you're uh, still a natural uh, yeah, brunette? It's been now natural for almost five years that I haven't uh, colored it. Uh, but I've done a few things to my hair in the past. <laughs> I've, before, um, I used to do a few highlights. Um, and then way before that, on a crazy... Crazy moment. moment <laughs> I thought, I don't need to bleach my hair in the salon. I can do it in at home. Oh, wow. So I did it at home, <laughs> yeah. And then it just came out orange because that's, okay. that's how it goes, right? Yes, that's how it goes. How it and goes. Uh, yeah, and yeah, then so you then visit the salon it, yeah. very, very... Yeah, yeah we but have to try some... uh, to stay blonde, actually. Yeah. And that stayed for a week because I couldn't, I didn't recognize myself. <laughs> and my, my mom was really unhappy. And uh, so I left it for a week and then I went back to my normal color. But my family was very impressed um, at how my hair didn't completely burn off from what I did to it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that was one of the moments like... You need to have those experiences. Eh? Yeah. And you need to have those experiences to, <laughs> to know that, that that's not a good idea. Mm. And sometimes we have people uh, in the morning in the salon that tried it at home in the evening. Oh, and then yeah. in the morning they're already here. Oh, please help me fix it. So that's the experience you learn from this as well. Yeah. I also give you some hair lessons yeah. with the scalp massage, so I really recommend this to mm -hmm. you because we discussed it and a lot of people are thinking that it need to be with washing, mm -hmm. but actually I used it on your hair uh, with the conditioner dry. and yeah. also on dry hair. So if you're in front of the television um, and you feel that your scalp is a little bit, uh, that you're getting a headache from this area, mm -hmm. you just can place the scalp brush and just giving like five, six massages yeah. uh, at that place. And, yeah, um, I had a misconception because I've seen a lot of um, people using this tool while in the shower and I did try it, but because of the weight 
of the water in your hair and I have sensitive scalp, I found it difficult to get, to really get in. But yeah, now I'm definitely gonna use it in the plane, in the car, <laughs> watching And that's TV. actually <laughs> funny that you're saying because you're saying I have so sensitive yes. scalp. Um, what I um, notified today is that you don't really have a um, sensitive scalp because when we did the massage we can do really high pressure. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of people thinking if I'm washing it, uh, it detangles and then you see if higher hair was wet, but you already explain ahead what you felt is that it's, it's, it's not a pleasant feeling. Mm -hmm. And if you're using it with a conditioner or when I used it on dry hair, your hair and the texture of your hair is already so much in more grip, yeah. then you don't experience that that's, that's kind of, uh, it, yeah, yeah, that pull. Yeah. We used today the conditioner as yeah. well, and we spoke about this yeah. earlier. You were so surprised that the conditioner was also placed on the roots yeah. and through the whole length. And the reason why is because if you have the correct shape shampoo and conditioner mm -hmm. for your hair type, you can definitely use conditioner also on your scalp because mm -hmm. uh, a shampoo is to clean your hair and a conditioner is also to take care of your hair. Mm -hmm. But also if you have the right uh, conditioner for your hair type and scalp type, it also helps your scalp to relax and to uh, yeah solve kind of issues. Yeah, I so, think I've never used conditioner on my scalp yes. in my life. And so now it's you very, see the result. Yeah. It's, it's not greasy. It's like, what is coming out of this? Is, is yeah. it going to look good? Yeah, yeah. The, the number one thing people say in salons or, yeah. or um, anywhere is not to put conditioner Correct. Or sometimes they thing. ask, yeah. hey, do you want it uh, a conditioner? Uh, yeah. yeah, for my opinion, if you have the good mm. uh, kind of product, and, and that's also depending, eh? uh, it's not that you're saying my mother has bangs, so mm. it's not that the shampoo and conditioner for your mother is the same shampoo yeah. and conditioner. And of course you can combine, you can have the shampoo of uh, the moisture and balance and for example the conditioner of the volume. Yeah. It's depending of the quality of your hair and of course your scalp. But you see your it hair is still, nice. I know. is still a lot of volume and yeah. a lot of shine and we did conditioner from, from roots yeah. to the end. So yeah, I'm excited wet. to keep on yeah. experimenting with it. Yeah, especially uh, with your kind of schedule, mm. it's always good to have less steps. It's for people to wash their hair, take care of their hair, mm. and if that base is already good, yeah. you don't need too much uh, afterwards because people don't have time. They really like have the morning routine or a week routine yeah. from five to ten minutes, and that's it. And have clients um, given you as feedback, like clients like I do have a bit more oily scalp mm -hmm. and by using the moisture and balance, have they told you that they have less oily scalp? Because I think that if you're giving it some Repel replenishment with, with, with moisture and you're taking care of it. Correct. It's less dry, so it's less, it's, it's producing it's less? Actually the same as skincare. Mm -hmm. It's if you're using a moisture and balance, yeah. Yeah, your scalp and your hair, like moisture is such important for your, yeah. uh, for your scalp and for your whole uh, body. So if you're using moisture and balance, uh, it will take, because if you have very uh, uh, issues with your scalp, it will take some few washings. Yeah. So you can can almost never experience uh, like uh, after one washing the total experience yeah, you have yeah. to use it for a few weeks but if the balance is correct that's why we call the moisture and balance mm -hmm. so after a four uh, no, three four washings you will definitely see that the greasiness of the hair will disappear because then the balance is yeah where it's supposed to oh, be well, I'm very excited <laughs>